Good evening and welcome to Renaissance's Art Award presentation. My name is Michael Navi. I'm the principal here at Renaissance High School for the Arts. I want to begin by saying this is obviously not the way we envisioned how we wanted to honor all of you. This has been a, a difficult time uh, for all of us, but I want all of you know, to know first and foremost that we truly miss you and we wish that we were all together. But we definitely wanted to honor you in, in a way that was respectful and, and um, truly uh, honored your talents. Thank you for doing your best in classes and especially for continuing to excel in all of your arts. You are here because you are some of the select few who have been recognized by your teachers on your excellence. I say this often when students earn awards um, in the fact that you are extraordinary. Remember, your teachers could have chosen a variety of their students, but they chose you because you stood out for many, many aspects of what you do. Your hard work, your dedication, your effort and talent have made you stand out from all the others. You and your loved ones should feel extremely proud of your accomplishments. As I was thinking about the importance of art in our society, I found this quote from author Henry James. It is art that makes life. It makes interests, makes importance, and I know of no substitute whatever for the force and beauty of its process. One of the big treasures in life for me is to hear and watch students perform their art. It is your greatest gift and thank you for that. But we also have other thank yous. Thank, a big thank you goes out to all of your loved ones who have supported you throughout the years. A big, huge thank you goes to your teachers, of course, who have stood by you and have taught you every day and helped you continue to improve and excel. A big congratulations to all of our award winners. We are so proud of you. Good evening, I'm Sandra Hawkins, the Instrumental Music Director at Renaissance. My name is Maria Dowell and I teach vocal music. To earn a senior med medal in vocal music, students must be enrolled in choir or vocal jazz their senior year and either be in an advanced ensemble or participate in the department at any level for at least three years. To earn a senior medallion in instrumental music, seniors are expected to be enrolled in one or more of the advanced instrumental classes, which consist of piano, guitar, jazz band, orchestra, and newly added this year, steel drums, for a minimum of two years. This year's senior medallion recipients in music are Yelene Beltran, Richtita Bovenak, James Castillo, Jay Cortez, Ariel Ivelia Tuelepa Diaz, Cameron Green, Scarlett Hockenberger, Marcos Millones, Sophia Muir, Matthew Rivas, Margaret Soon, Maximilian Verdugo, Marithea Yamuta, Henry Elliot Blanco, Emily Cardona, Nyla Matisse Conway, Elena Coltis, Trinity Gonzalez, Joaquin Guadamus, Ezekiel Lacan, Marshall Mojica, Emmanuel Quezada, Novia Sandoval, Sefula Taha, Kristen Webb, and Mason Young. Yay! Hello, my name is Susan Thrasher and I teach theater. To earn a senior theater medallion, the student needs to be enrolled in the program their senior year. In addition, they need to have some serious contribution to the department. This year's senior medallion recipients in theater are Deja Bryant, Emily Cardona, Nyla Matisse Conway, Karem Gladden, Trinity Gonzalez, Joaquin Guadamus, Khalil Kam, Lorena Mendoza, Sierra Hamilton, Amitai Sam, Lyra Solorio, Margaret Soon, and Kristen Webb. Yay. Hello, my name is Jessica Rivera and I teach technical theater. To earn a senior medallion in technical theater, students must be a senior enrolled in stage technology for a minimum of two years 
maintain a grade of C or higher, an excellent or satisfactory conduct grade, and have participated in after school performances as stage crew members. This year's senior medallion recipients in technical theater are Karen Kaori Aguayo, Henry Elliott Blanco, Juliana Davalos, Joaquin Guadamus, Lisandra Gandaria, Valerie Morales, Asad Mohammed, Carl Perez, Henry Quirino, Iris Torres, and Velma Vasquez. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Allison Hart and I teach dance. Hi, my name is Cinnamon Hauser and I also teach dance. To earn a senior medal in dance, you must be enrolled in dance for a minimum of three years at Renaissance or enrolled in for two years plus at least one year of dance comp or improvisation. You must be enrolled in dance as a senior at RHSA. You must perform in at least one dance concert, must maintain a C or better in all dance classes taken, and must maintain satisfactory conduct in all dance department classes and events. This year's senior medallion recipients in dance are Sam Arnold, Richita Bovenak, Deja Busano, Emily Cardona, Josani Cole, Nyla Matisse Conway, Kayla Copeland, Ariel Evelia Tualinfa Diaz, Trinity Gonzalez, Aisha Gutierrez, Scarlett Hockenberger, Samora Jefferson, Emily Jenkins, Khalil Kam, Marshall Mojica, Delilah Morones, Sophia Muir, Izzy Navarrete, Jaden Pearson, Tanya Schultz, Lyra Solorio, Toya Taylor, Melissa Thomas, Maria Wade, and Marifea Yamuta. Hello, my name is uh, Carlos A. Gonzalez Novoa, and I teach visual arts and digital art. Hi, my name is Christine Witt, and I teach visual art and costume design. To earn a senior medal in visual art, students must have taken four years of studio art classes, um, including multiple levels of drawing and painting or three-dimensional art, um, including during their senior year. Many of these students have taken multiple years in both drawing and painting and 3D, um, and several of them took AP art, just recently completing and submitting their AP portfolio of artwork to the College Board. This year's uh, senior medallion recipients in visual art are, down row, Anna Aispuro, Sam Arnold, Mia Barba, James Castillo, Bianca Constanza, Skylar Cosi, Daniel Contreras, Alina Cultis, Irene Elias, Margarita Fernandez, Cheyenna Hawk, Deston Lastic, Yasiri Lindsay, Jaden Pearson, Henry Quirino, Nova Sandoval, Cecilia Talavera, Kevin Velasquez, Josh Wells, and finally, but not least, Sophia Wells. Congratulations. Digital art. To earn a senior medal in digital art, students must have completed three years of digital art sequence of classes. This is a new category we added for the senior medal because this is the first year LBUSD has offered digital R56, which is the third level in the sequence. This year's uh, senior medallion recipients in digital R, drum roll, Timari Seals and Kevin Velasquez. Awesome. To earn a senior medal in costume design, um, students must complete all three years of the costume design sequence, starting with intro to costume design in 10th grade, followed by two years of advanced costume design. This year's um, senior medallion recipients in costume design are Karen Kaori Aguayo, Deja Busano, Khalil Kam, Valerie Morales, Ariana Morris, Carolyn Necessary, Memory Orozco, Cassie Rios, Colin Sargent, 
and Toya Taylor. Let's hear it for all of our senior medallion recipients. Yay! Yay! Ooh, congratulations! Now we will move forward to, um, and present the awards in each department. So we're going to start with promising new talent. As guitarists, that would be Carson Necessary. For jazz band, Cooper Sandoval. Orchestra, Nathan Velasco. Pianist, Abigail Diaz. Steel drums, Calista Wright. Next, we have most dedicated. For guitarists, we have Mina Love White. For jazz band, Caden Craig. For orchestra, Christopher Martin. Also for orchestra, Fernanda Valdivia. For pianist, Kayla Matthews. For steel drums, Enoch Contreras. Continuing, we have growth in vision and achievement. We have as guitarist, Janessa Perez, jazz band, Aiden Paramita Dyer, orchestra, Aussie Gay, pianist, Victoria Jimenez, steel drums, Janine Rodriguez. Next, excellence in leadership. Guitarist, Stephanie Oweta, jazz band, Matthew Rivas, orchestra, Ristita Bovanek, pianist, Maximilian Verdugo, steel drums, Jonathan Paxton, then continuing excellence, guitarist, Jay Cortez, jazz band, Enoch Contreras, Continuing excellence in orchestra, Dylan Pesosimo. Pianist, Rachel Cervantes, and steel drums, Janelle Movia. Yay! And in the theater department, the award for promising new talent goes to Kaysen Edwards, growth in vision and achievement, Amitai Sam, most dedicated, to Joaquin Guadamus and Hirsch, exemplary performance for their performance in The Mousetrap, Emily Cardona, continuing excellence, Joaquin Guadamus, Sailor Toilillo, Natalie Carrera, Hirsch, Ariana Woods, and Kristen Webb. In musical theater, our promising new talent is Natalie Carrera. Yay! In the technical theater department, the award for promising new talent goes to Julian Floro. Most dedicated, Akira Daganero. Growth in vision and achievement, Maria Valdez and Ethan Dodgen. Excellence in Leadership, Michael Bueno and Bjorn Jordan. And Continuing Excellence, Elizabeth Valdivia and Brianna Villalobos. Promising new talent. We have four. Goes to Sarah Brake, Asiel Bastian, Sydney Glenn, and Sitlali Hernandez. Most Dedicated, Arangsa Guerrero, Izzy Parker, and Brianna Villalobos. Growth in Vision and Achievement, Christopher Martin, Kayla Copeland, Natalie Carrera, Kayla Brown, Janessa Perez, Janelle Movia, and Jasani Cole. Excellence in Choreography goes to Izzy Navarrete. Continuing Excellence goes to Khalil Kam. Maria Wade, Richtita Bovenak, and Michelle Rosales. Congratulations. Yay. For drawing and painting, uh, promising new talent 
I have Ales Alessandra Lopez, uh, Mia Roberts. And for most dedicated, I have Adeline Ellie and Kennedy Turman. For growth in vision and achievement, I have Citlali Hernandez and Luca Gonzalez. In continuing excellence, I have Julian Toro and Helen Cardenas Rios. Congratulations. In 3D art, promising new talent goes to Malaya Decoder and Leanna Fernandez. Growth in vision and achievement goes to James Castillo. And continuing excellence is awarded to Azure Burks and Ani Aquino Medrano. Congratulations. For digital art, I have growth in vision and achievement. I have Dresden, Babcock, and Kaya Crawford. For continuing excellence, I have Samantha Sanchez. Congratulations. In costume design, um, we have promising new talent is Claire Lagardia. Most dedicated, Hannah Wells. Growth in vision and achievement goes to Jaden Pearson and Mariana Gonzalez. And continuing excellence is awarded to Cassie Rios and Toya Taylor. Congratulations. In vocal music, promising new talent goes to Courtney Moreno. Most dedicated goes to Katrina Doyle Jacobson and Hirsch. Growth in vision and achievement goes to Janelle Movia and Nova Sandoval. Excellence in leadership goes to Margaret Suen. And continuing excellence goes to Kristen Webb and Trinity Gonzalez. Thank you and congratulations winners. Let's hear it for our winners so far. Yay! 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 Winners! The most outstanding student award is given to one or two students in each department that truly shine and set an example within their craft. In addition to receiving their own award to take home, their name is added to that department's perpetual plaque. These plaques are displayed in our Performing Arts Center and remain there for future Renaissance artists to see. It is now my honor to present the most outstanding student awards in vocal music. This year, there are two students receiving the Most Outstanding Vocal Musician Award. Both of these students have shown exemplary dedication and work ethic in their craft. They demonstrate impressive leadership skills, musicianship, offer extra help to their peers, and set fantastic examples for the younger vocalists in the department. They are the anchors in their sections, providing a solid sound for the rest of the choir to form around. Not only that, but these two students are consistently kind, professional, and really know the value of teamwork in the choral ensemble. From the moment they stepped onto this campus, I knew they were both a force to be reckoned with. Their growth over the last four years has been tremendous, and the speed with which both of them can learn new music independently is astounding. I am so impressed with their talents, so grateful to have been their teacher, and so excited for what the future holds for both of them. This year's most outstanding vocal musicians are Maximilian Wesley Verdugo and Emily Cardona. Yay. Instrumental music. This young person has been an asset to the Renaissance Instrumental Department since his freshman year. It has been a privilege to be part of his journey in becoming a serious gig worthy musician. He chooses to always go the extra mile, regardless of the task. Over the past four years, he has directed the orchestra, jazz band, jazz ensembles, the EAS, which is the Baby Hawks, and participated with the Long Beach Symphony, as well as the RHSA Pitt Orchestra for the Musicals. This young man has written and arranged amazing creations. I again want to thank him for the privilege of being a part of his musical journey. RHSA's 2019-2020 outstanding, most outstanding musician, Mr. Matthew Rivas. Congratulations, yay. 
The Theater Award for Most Outstanding is granted to students who are excellent in their craft, examples to their peers, and disciplined artists. They understand the joy and hard work it takes to develop self-discipline. They seek out challenging work for themselves in their studies. In some cases, preparing projects before they've been assigned. Constant revision and honing of a piece is an accepting criticisms with grace and style. They shine brightly as model students, teachers, and directors. On their own, they strike a path with confident choices, risk, and vulnerability. I will always remember my joy in watching them encourage their classmates and creativity that bloomed there. Their dedication teaches others how to create opportunities for other students. Their work has set a clear tone for what is expected with the underclass they show up. They show up every time in presence, in attitude, in effort, and through their art. An outstanding student takes a step to go above and beyond what is expected of them, creating new projects, sharing what they've learned with their peers. I am greatly impressed by their analytical skills. I know that the learning that they have done in our class will be reflected not only in their future artistic work, but in their personal life as well. They're truly an example of what makes a Renaissance student great. I am pleased and grateful to add their names to a select few at Renaissance High School for the Arts. I look forward to watching their work as adults and continuing to being their biggest fan. I'm proud to announce both Trinity Gonzalez and Khalil Kam as outstanding achievement in theater arts for 2019-2020 school year. Congratulations. This student is dedicated to their craft and is able to think outside the box. They are highly creative to come up with creative solutions to technical challenges. He volunteered to be on stage crew, act and sing in almost every school performance for the past three years. He designed the lighting for school dances, concerts and theater performances. He has gone above and beyond in carpentry and has built many props, such as the inventor's cart in Beauty and the Beast, and helped work on the trap door for the Wiz. He designed and led the entire department to build the Minotaur's Labyrinth in 2019's open house, Myths and Legends, as well as 2019's stage crew ASV, Halloween Maze, The Tooth Fairy. He created a 3D model color palette costumes casted and came up with the entire storyline for both of the mazes. He inspired his peers and was a great leader. He will continue his studies in theater arts, design and technical production at Cal State University of Fullerton. I know that he will be a very successful theater artist and designer because he possesses all of the right qualities. I again want to thank him for his hard work and dedication to the technical theater department. I'm proud to announce that 2019, 2020 most outstanding technical theater artist is Joaquin Guadamuz. This year was very special in the dance department. Our students demonstrated some of the most progress that we have seen in a while, and we didn't even get to see them for a full year. The choice for most outstanding student in dance was a hard one to make with so many talented dancers. So this year we have two. We have had the privilege of working with both of these students for the past four years, but this year in particular, they stood out in our advanced production class and composition class. Both of them have performed many pieces in our faculty dance concerts, consistently being selected for additional after school pieces. And they were both selected this year to choreograph for our student concert, which is a huge honor. Their dance technique is strong, their performance on stage is stunning, and they are both innovative choreographers. We are confident that they will be able to have a successful career in the field of dance if they choose to do so. Beyond their skills as dancers, they are both extremely kind and generous individuals that display the highest level of conduct in and out of class. Both of these students are true leaders in the dance department. They are always willing to help when needed and put in extra work to make RHSA dance the best that it can be. Our younger students look up to them and our entire dance faculty loves working with each of them. Our first award for most outstanding dancer goes to Emily Cardona. Emily displayed some natural talent from the very beginning. I remember we moved her out of dance one two her very first year because she was already up for a challenge. 
From then on, she has worked hard to become stronger and more dedicated than any of us could have ever anticipated. She takes class seriously and is constantly working on ways to improve her technique and performance. Emily takes advantage of every opportunity that comes her way and goes above and beyond the normal requirements of a dancer at RHSA. Last summer, she participated in a dance program with me at CSULD and also attended a summer intensive with Body Traffic, which she was selected for after a competitive audition process. This year, she was awarded a scholarship from Musical Theater West, and we couldn't be more proud. Her energy in class and beautiful performance quality on stage will surely be missed next year at Renaissance. We would also like to award Mary Thea Yamuta with the most outstanding award in dance. She entered our department as a shy and curious freshman and we didn't know what to expect from this new artist. It has been thrilling to not only see her come out of her shell as a strong and talented individual in many art forms, but to also witness her amazing transformation as a performer. For anyone who has ever seen her on stage, I'm sure you would agree that there are few people who can captivate an audience and deliver such authentic energy as Thea can. In class, she is always on top of her game and our whole class, me included, learns that we could always depend on her to help with musicality and remembering details of choreography. Her love of dance shines through her every move and there will never be another dancer quite like her at Renaissance. We will miss her dearly. Congratulations to Emily and Mari Thea. Your dance teachers love you and we can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Okay, uh, most outstanding perpetual plaque drawing and painting award. I was honored to learn you value my opinion enough to let me submit a nominee for this year's most outstanding perpetual plaque visual arts award. This amazing student has shown stunning talent in drawing and painting. It has proven to be an integral part to the Renaissance High School for the Arts family values. She is someone who I had the pleasure to know this year and who has shown an incredible willingness in providing assistance and feedback uh, to other students' artworks, and is someone who is very easy to get along and who, has, who possesses an easy nature as well. If you never had the opportunity to meet uh, this student, you are missing an amazing spirit. Uh, immediately, I knew who I thought deserved this prestigious honor. It is with great pleasure that I give you the name of Drum roll, Margarita Fernandez for this year's most outstanding visual arts award. I believe Margarita truly personifies what the Renaissance High School for the Arts community is looking for in creative young American students today. Congratulations, Margarita. So I'll be giving the most outstanding student award in 3D art. Its official class title is three-dimensional art design and sculpture. Um, so the student who will be receiving this award took their first year of three-dimensional art with Ms. Pink. Um, so I didn't have the opportunity to have them in class until this year. Um, but they quickly demonstrated their top-notch 3D art skills, um, especially when it came to working with clay. Um, this student became our most prolific ceramic artist and spent the most time, uh, bar none, of anyone on the potter's wheel, um, created many pieces, and I'm sure would have created many more if they had had more time in the studio. Um, they don't just shine with clay, though. They are a skilled artist in many different media, um, both 3D media, and they were in drawing and painting 5-6 uh, this year as well. Um, this student has a really cool conceptual multimedia piece on display right now in the closed Long Beach Museum of Art, um, but I'm really proud of their work. The most outstanding award in three-dimensional art goes to Sam Arnold. Digital art, most outstanding perpetual plaque. I am pleased to nominate the following student for this year most Outstanding Perpetual Plaque Digital Arts Award. This year, I had the pleasure of knowing this student. I have been impressed with her creative digital art abilities and her various academic accomplishments throughout the school year, for it is my understanding that she has maintained an excellent GPA while taking part in an impressive plethora of extracurricular activities here at Renaissance and outside of school as well. As an art teacher, I have been extremely impressed with both her technical abilities and motivation in digital art and also in drawing and painting, which I have her for that class as well. Her creativity flows from her without effort, 
She applies sensitivity and originality to every project we engage in during class. Whether it is a drawing assignment, a basic sketch, or a component digital design, she is an intuitive and talented artist. She has been an asset to my digital art and drawing and painting classes. It is an honor to present this well-deserved digital award to, drum roll, Alisa Decoter for this year's most outstanding Perpetual Black Digital Arts Award. Alisa also truly personifies what the Renaissance High School for the Arts community is looking for in creative young American students today. Congratulations, Alisa. Okay, and our last most outstanding student award um, this evening goes uh, is in costume design. Um, this student completed all three years of the costume design sequence and pretty much from the start in intro to costume design, uh, distinguished herself as an accomplished and talented designer. She is amazingly creative and very much stays true to her own vision as a designer. Um, she also has excellent technical skills. Um, I know that no matter what I ask her to make, she will do so with a high level of craftsmanship and quality and speed. This girl can sew. I'm so proud to announce the most outstanding student in costume design is Carolyn Necessary. Congratulations. Wow, what an incredible group of students we have here. We are so honored and blessed to have them with us. And each and every one of you truly deserve it. So let's give them all a big round of applause. Yay! Yay! Winners! <laughs> All right, way to go. Congratulations to you all. You should be very, very proud. For those of you who are underclassmen, remember you are our role models now. You will uh, help welcome this class of 2021 into Renaissance and uh, they're going to look to you to see how they should, the, the hard work that you do, the dedication, um, how you behave in class, and uh, how you interact with our, with our staff. So continue to be outstanding and I know that they're going to learn from you. For our seniors, um, do keep on doing what you are doing. It obviously has gotten you to many, many places. Um, continue that throughout your college and through your career and beyond. Um, that hard work will really take you places and, and, and help you accomplish your goals. So don't ever lose that. Um, thank you once again to our teachers and incredibly dedicated staff um, I think you know that your success is their success. Um, when we, we love to hear about when you leave and you come back and tell us all, everything that you're doing, um, the, uh, the, your accomplishments, uh, reaching your goals, uh, everything that you, um, that you come back and share with us, we are truly, truly happy and proud of you. And again, that's our success as well. And lastly, if you're sitting with your families and your loved ones right now, which we hope that you are, give them a big hug, tell them thank you. We know that um, behind every successful person is people who support them, and those are the people most likely sitting around you. So tell them thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, again, for um, um, joining us. Thank you to uh, Mrs. Dahl for organizing this and thank you, thank you to all of our teachers who participated. Um, it's a uh, wonderful time to be able to tell each and every one of you, you are outstanding, you are extraordinary and keep up the wonderful work. Congratulations everyone.